I want to welcome you back to the Randolph County NC Beer Review. I'm Alan. I'm Amanda. And today we're doing one on a Mites Hard Freeze. It is a 5% alcohol by volume. Scores a zero on IBUs because it is a malt beverage. And Untapped has it scored at a 3.45. And this is, it comes in packs, but I found this in the little convenience store near the house. This is supposed to be the sweet cherry flavored. Mm, I like tea. It doesn't taste like medicine. Mm. <laughs> and it is from the uh, Mike's Hard, uh, Mike's Hard Lemonade out of uh, Chicago, Illinois. Okay. This so, is drink cold or over ice. That's right. It also comes in the red, blue, and pink and white can as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And on the can, it simply says, Mike's is a hard. It's Mike's hard. So is prison. Don't drink until you're 21. Oh my gosh. Got it. Don't drink until you're 21. I'm going to try it. Why don't you open it? Okay. Don't break a nail. No. Can't afford it. Can't afford it. Break a nail. And if you're looking, this is the new Randolph County NC Beer Review headquarters. Mm. Let me get a cup. I'm going to steal it. It smells like a, um, a cherry slushie. Very, 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 very carbonated. Oh, it smells so good, don't it? It smells cherry. You remember the fun dip, the powder? That's what it reminds me of. Like the powder, yeah. the fun dip powder. But I do remember when Kmart used to be open and used to have the cherry slushies. That kind of icy. That's what I'm talking about. That's what it smells yeah, like, it smells like, like the that cherry. too, the icy. Or the slush The artificial yeah. cherries. Let's try slushies. it. Cheers. Cheers at home, everybody. It's that's cherry. Pretty, that's pretty good. It's cherry, cherry. Cherry, cherry, yeah. You taste the alcohol. It's got a little kick of it. If you don't like beer and you like those, it's sweet, though. It's very sweet, very sugary. Mm -hmm. It's very sweet. But it's good. It's good. It really be good, like if it was, get it almost where it's frozen in the freezer, like mm -hmm. a slushy kind of. Mm -hmm. Or over ice. So you could put ice in a blender with it. There maybe, you go. Maybe we should go back and see if we can find the, uh, the four pack of it of, uh, with the regular flavors in it. Mm -hmm. You try them. I try. I think so. But that, I mean, it's good. I mean, it's, but you want to, if you like beer, you're probably, you're not going to like it. No, because it's sweet. You, I mean, it's not like beer. It's more like a, it's more like, almost a, like a wine cooler. We used to yeah. back in the day. Wine cooler. A little bit of Boone's Farm. That will tell you whether or not you're old, if you remember wine coolers. I'm oh, not old. Was it Foster's and James? No, it's Barnum and James. Barnum and James. Who's Foster? I think it's a beer, ain't it? I don't know. I'm old. Barnum I can't and James. Well, there was some other wine coolers. Name? Can you name another wine cooler? If you can remember, Barnum right, and James. Can you, if you can remember, if you're old like we are, and you remember the wine coolers. There was this. Um, Zima was not a wine cooler. That was a malt beverage. Oh, I'm sorry. Flavored. I mean, that was not the Zimas. God, Zimas with the Jolly Rancher. I remember the Zimas. Mm. I'm trying to think of another one, and I cannot. And Oh, well, anyway, back to the Mike's Hard. It, that's what it reminds you of. That's Strawberry right. Hill, Boone's Farm. Yeah, artificial like. cherry flavor, but it's good. Mm -hmm. very, and very sweet. I've tasted something like that before. I'm trying to think. Maybe like a Cherry 7 Up that's got alcohol in it. Cherry 7 Up it tastes a lot like that. that. Would, oh, man, that would be good. With, mix, maybe mix it with a little bit of Cherry 7 Up. I'm just saying, that's what it reminds me of with some kick to the end of mm -hmm. it. But I like it. I give it a 7. If I like something, I'm going to get it It's good. sweet, but I, I like it, too. I like it. So, I'm, I mean, I, I, am like I'm, I love it. I have a, a lot of sweet teeth in my mouth or sweet tooth or whatever you want to call it. You like sweets? But I like sweets. Yeah. You know me. I, I love sugar. So, I'm going to have to say a seven, seven and a half. I like it. Mm -hmm. I do. I like it, too. But also, you know, it's it's, it's not a beer, but it's it's good. What'd you pay for it? What's that little thick hand cost you? Well, you was with me when we bought it. Well, I don't remember. Maybe two dollars. Two dollars. Two eighty. Did you get it at Line? No, we bought it at the little convenience store See, up, up um, downtown. Anyway, you probably get it at Food Line anywhere, but it's very good. Especially in the four. It's not strong. I mean, five percent. No, that whole can. Well, that's more than a normal beer. But that whole can. No. Well, that's a that's a that's a twenty four. That's like I'll two beers. Give you a shot. 
Oh, there you go. But I'm Alan. If, if there's any more of the mites, you, you know. Tell us about because I'll try them. Tell like this. Yeah. Or any mother malt beverage you'd like to see us do a review on, if you would leave in the comments and tell me about it. And we'll go back and find it and do a review on it. But share us to your friends yeah. so we can get some more. And like I said, if there's any more of the old Barman James. Different wine coolers. Things are wine coolers. Cause no, wait, how yeah. we think of us that one? When we get of... off here, I'm going to think of other ones. Yeah, we'll go back and maybe Google it. But I'm Alan. I'm Amanda. And I was all I'm going to say is thanks, and it's right around the corner. It's going to be uh, the start of a new year. So, happy new year. Thanks for watching.